Alright guys, today we're working on a Honda CRV. It's a 2002 and we're trying to change the knock sensor which looks like that. And <clears throat> to start doing this, what you need to do is take the undercarriage off. And undercarriage is right here. This is little plastic bolts. These little snap pins where you just pull it out and then the thing will come out. And they, they have some right up here on the wheel well. And then if you go underneath, they go here, 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 and all the way across there. You'll have some down here and some go in the middle. There's a 10 millimeter bolt that goes here and another one that goes here. And these are, could be hard to do, but you sometimes have to take the, everything off and then put a flathead or a, a pliers on the other side to hold the back piece and then just turn the bolt and they'll take it off. Now to locate your knock sensor what you want to do is you want to come around and come kind of on the back and here is your AC compressor and if you look right up here you'll see um, there's a little cable a wire harness that goes through here and you want to look right past it all the way up and you'll see that your sensor sits right back there and it's actually pretty easy to take out considering you can't get to it I think the hardest part for me was to take the clip off and the way I took the clip off is I put my hand in there and I placed a very large screwdriver that I bought from Craftsman it's about I would say about a foot long and I placed it right underneath the clip, flat face, and with my hand pushing on the plastic clip, and with the other hand on this thing, needs a little bit of dexterity, I twisted it and that unclipped the plastic piece. Once it was unclipped, I moved the screwdriver out of the way, and I was able to get the plastic clip to come out. And once you take the plastic clip out, that makes it much easier. Last thing you want to do is break that plastic clip because once you break that plastic clip you will need to replace it and uh, I'm pretty sure that would be not a fun job because you can barely get to the sensor. So once you take the clip out then all you gotta do is get yourself a 1 and 1 16th socket which is right here a craftsman and here's a new sensor the new sensor fits perfectly in here and even with the plastic piece in the sensor it the socket is deep enough to handle the sensor just fine so as you can see the sensor goes all the way in and you still have space for your driver so you're able to actually get the driver all the way through up there um, while with the socket on so what you want to do is get your driver on um, so we have the driver it's on and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna slide this guy from back of this engine support beam here up through here and you want to go straight through and you'll be able to place this right on top of the sensor and you'll be able to basically stick it on right as needed and then basically you push some force on it and it will undo try to be careful and not to break any other wires or connectors up there because that will cause you more heck than you need so anyways that's how you take it off once you take it off uh, put your hand back in there gently twist it on with your hand first and once you see that it catches, you should be able to do that with, you know, with your right hand. Um, go ahead and turn it back all the way so it's tight. Uh, torque it on. I just torque it with my gentle, uh, with my hands, and don't usually use a torque wrench because if you're tightening it too much, you know, use gentle force. It's small sensor, small threads. As you can see, it's not really a big threaded, probably a 10 millimeter threading on there and uh, clip it on. Um, 
usually what you want to do after you clip this on is before you start your motor you want to reset your codes and if you don't have one of those uh, just go down to O'Reilly and they will reset it um, and uh, you should be good to go hopefully this helps if you have questions post and we'll go from there thanks guys